Hey, so you spent the night with Paulina. And some of the morning. All right. Okay. We, um, you know, a lesser man than I would ask for detail. Well, it's a good thing that you're not going to ask because a gentleman doesn't reveal. Yeah, since when are you a gentleman? Huh? <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Look, for the record, I think this is great. Well, it, it did happen kind of fast. Boy, we're not getting any younger. If it feels right, it is right. <laughs> you know, I got to say that there were sparks between us from the beginning. But when I started helping her, helping Paulina in you know, this project that she's working on, well, we got a lot closer. I am very happy for you, Bart. Thank you. But there is only one problem. What's that? My daughter. I'm not sure what mommy's going to think. Why did I sleep with your father? Well, he's a very handsome, powerful man. I mean, why are you, why are you, why are you telling me? Oh, because we're family and the man, he is your father. Right, but I usually try not to get involved with his dating life. Well, sounds to me like he doesn't have much of a dating life. Right, but you get the point, Aunt Paulina. We're both adults here. Yes, yes, honey, I do. I understand, sweetheart. And I don't want to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. There's nothing uncomfortable about this conversation right now. Do you even know how... Uh, how much you mean to me? Uh, my sister's baby girl, my angel niece, my relationship with you, not to mention those two sweet peas. It's, it's everything. That's why I wanted to tell you right away about last night. Because if you're not okay with me being with your dad, then I promise you, it'll never happen again. Did you hear that? Our donuts are a tripe. I told you. No. You told me they were too dry, too dense, or too okay, whatever. Okay, so I was nervous. And obviously you didn't have a reason to be. It's just, this recipe has been in my family for decades, and I never thought that I could make it good enough to sell. Or that Julie would say it was as good as my great-grandmother's. Oh, that's how I feel about my grandma's sweet potato pie recipe. Did you ever try making it? Oh, believe it or not. The other day, my mother and I baked one together. She loved it, too. That's amazing. We should add it to the menu. Is this really happening? I mean, obviously, I hoped it would, or else I never would have suggested the idea. It's starting to feel real. Because it is. <laughs> I know. I, I was in the square the other day, and I saw the banner they put up. It said, Sweet Bits coming soon. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> well, believe it, Horton, because the two of us, we really got something. I, I, I heard you say Gwen's name. Is something going on with my daughter? Um, Steve and I were just discussing her moving in with you. But disapprovingly, I assume. Well, no, just wondering if it was a good idea for you to bring her into your home. I, I realize Gwen didn't exactly endear herself to my family. She did a lot of damage to Abigail's marriage and nearly cost me mine. But after everything she's done, she's my family, too. I understand that. Then you understand that she needs support now, Caitlin. I want to, I want to be there for her. Of course you do. You know, when Tripp first came to town, he made a lot of mistakes. But now, we couldn't be more grateful to have him in our lives. Kayla's just worried. Worried that Gwen will hurt someone again? No, worried that she might hurt you. How can he be dead? He was fine just a minute ago. I... I don't know. My guess would have been heart attack. Heart attack? He looks like he was in great shape. Yeah, well, maybe he wasn't until he thought you were going to kill him. I didn't. I... I wouldn't. Well, it sure as hell bloody looked like you wanted to, Xander. I was just trying to scare him. Really? Really? By going after him with a letter opener? Look, okay. 
I was very tempted, but I stopped myself. Yes, yes, you did. No.